Hi, this is Sonia Dazzo with Soul Minad. We'd like to welcome you all, all of you back to the show. We are just so excited to be here in Seattle, Washington, where we are conducting interviews with a, a long list of celebrities who have flown in from all across the country um, out of respect and honor for their, their friend, their mentor, their former coach, um, uh, former teammate, uh, Coach Lenny Wilkins. He's having his uh, annual Celebrity Classic dinner and uh, auction and uh, golf scramble here that's taking place in Seattle, Washington this weekend. So we have um, a lot of uh, the guests that are here with us today, and uh, we've talked to several, and, and right now we'd like to welcome with us John Egan. John, thank you so much for joining us here at Solomon Thank you. <laughs> so talk about longevity and friend and buddy and all of that. You guys go back quite a quite a long ways, huh? Oh, yeah. Lenny and myself, we met in college. Uh -huh. uh, Lenny graduated in 1960. I graduated in uh, 61. And what college was this? Providence College, mm -hmm. okay. Providence, Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. So that's 50 years ago. 50 years ago. <laughs> Hard to believe. Providence is a lovely city. Yeah, it's a nice uh, nice city. Mm -hmm. It was a small college. Uh, we had coat and tie every day. Dominican mm -hmm. fathers taught there. Mm -hmm. Lights out at 11 o'clock. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Had to be disciplined. Boys and girls in the dorms? No, or girl. no girls. No girls. All boys. School. No girls. Uh -huh. No drinking. No smoking. Uh -huh. No nothing. Wow, how'd that go over, all right? Just praying. Right, sure, <laughs> just praying. <laughs> then we pray that the shot went in. <laughs> and, you know, I was, I was an offensive player, and Lenny was a defensive player. Uh -huh. so, and I was a right-hander, he was a left-hander. Okay. So, uh, we complimented one another. We, yeah, we had, we had a lot of fun, and then we were fortunate enough to play in the pros for many years. And talk to me a little bit about your career. Where did you go? Uh... Well, I, I played 12 years, and uh, I was lucky, you know, for a small white guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you know, they say white guys can't jump. I was about to say, who could or could not I jump? Could, I could jump. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and when I was in college, believe it or not, I, I hurt my knee, mm -hmm. and I had a knee operation after my junior year, and I played in the pros really on one leg. Oh my. My, my leg hurt, and it still hurts today. I'll probably need a knee replacement mm -hmm. as, as the years progress. Mm -hmm. But I uh, had, had a good time in the pros. I played with the Knicks. I played with the Lakers and, mm -hmm. you know, a few teams. And uh, I ended up in Houston with the Houston Rockets. And I coached the Rockets uh, from 1973 to 1976. Mm -hmm. So I was in it 15 years. Today right. I'm in the insurance business, and I live in Houston. Mm -hmm. And I headed up the retired players there. We have a chapter. We do a lot of stuff in the community. Great. And, a lot uh, of community involvement then, like what yeah, Lenny's been doing. Yeah, we help the kids. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know. We, we probably learned that before Providence College, you know, mm -hmm. giving back. I think you learn that probably from, from your parents. And mm -hmm. Lenny's father died very young. Lenny yes. was five years old, mm -hmm. you know. There's four kids in his family, and his mother, you know, brought him up and... Uh, I was fortunate. I have a brother and sister, and mother and father, and you know they uh, they taught us to give back. Mm -hmm. and I always try and help people as much as I possibly could. And Lenny and myself, uh, believe it or not, you know we were big time players, but we never had any problems. Mm -hmm. we were just amazing. We got along and uh, supported each other. And, uh, a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. And you come up here every year for this, don't you? I do. Mm -hmm. I do. I, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, I, I read about Odessa Brown, mm -hmm. and she was quite a lady. Mm -hmm. and she, she, she died at age 49, leukemia. Mm -hmm. and so young. In Chicago, they turned her down for some health care at a mm -hmm. hospital. Mm -hmm. And I guess she never forgot that. She had four children. And then when she came to Seattle, she brought her kids up here in Seattle. Uh, she started the clinic way back. Mm -hmm. And then uh, people took over after she died. But, you know, having four kids died of leukemia at age 49. Right. Uh, you know, I can relate to that. I was married 34 years. My wife <coughs> died of ovarian cancer 13 years ago. Oh, it's an awful cancer. And mm -hmm. brutal, you know. Mm -hmm. And like Garfield Hurd here, he, he's a great... Uh, 
golfer as well as as a basketball player. I never played against him, but uh, my wife has an eight handicap. She was a club champ sure. for years and years. She was a marathon runner. She was a great tennis player. She's an artist. She played the piano. She did all kinds of stuff. And I have two children and three grandkids mm -hmm. and no grandmother. Mm -hmm. You know, she died yeah. at age 57. Yeah. And yeah. well, Dessa Brown died at age 49. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? What's up with that? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I, I don't get it. Good people want to help people. And uh, my wife is a very charitable woman. And uh, she's gone. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I try and give back. You do your part in trying to give back. And, and Lenny and Marilyn have embraced the that concept. They truly believe in the importance of giving back or as, as a... I don't know if Oprah coined it, but you know nowadays, of course, they say you know paying it forward, but uh, yeah. but paying exactly. it forward, giving back, and, and looking after those who really cannot look after themselves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, being t a child and turned away, uh, you know, that's just so tragic, and it's happening over and over. And in this nation, in this nation, this this should yeah. Happen. Look at Somalia. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, oh, isn't present that just day, tragic? Uh, all, all the, the children over there, the ones oh. who are dying. I mean, I, I met Manu Bowl, who, who was from Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I met him a couple of years ago, and he just died, you know, like six, eight months ago. Yeah, I think it was uh, last late fall or winter, awesome was guy. It? You know, I mean, trying to give back. And uh, yes. I met him in Atlanta, and I, I spoke with him, and I said, uh, you know, you've been married. He said, oh yeah, you know, I'm married, and but I have seven kids, and my wife's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, then I read about him. Yeah that he was over there and he came back here and he was trying to build schools mm -hmm. over there. Right. And I told him what to do, how to do it, mm -hmm. you know? And he said, John, you're smart. I said, yeah, I know. That's what I'm telling you, man. I said, you, you listen to me. And I told him to go to L.A. and get all the big stars and yeah. have a big concert. I said, you know, have a concert, man. You raise a lot of money. And right. he was in the process of doing all this and then, then he died. And it was so sad. Weren't you just so shocked to hear of it? I was shocked to hear of it. Well, he, he wasn't healthy, you know. No, he wasn't, I had too. seen him years. He, he wasn't healthy. Yeah. yeah. It was but but to have death happen. I mean, yeah. I had heard that there was health issues, but I just didn't realize that that yeah, was a young his man, next card. You know, yeah. A young man. But, you know, his nutrition and everything way back in Africa, you know, the guy oh. was like seven foot seven. Yeah. You know, and if you saw him and saw him walk, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, my God, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, it, his nutrition just wasn't there. No, non existent. Just of did, did, didn't happen. No. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's a shame. But here, here's another charitable guy trying to give back. Mm -hmm. uh, and he dies early. 